saying Shazam is not just for boys, you know. Sometimes girls can say Shazam too. Very carefully, we are looking at an original production cell used to create an image on an animated series. And that animated series was the Kids Super Power Hour with Shazam. It aired in 1981, 1981 82 TV season on NBC as a Saturday morning cartoon. And this is Mary Marvel also known as Mary Batson. And so when she would say the word Shazam, she would transform into Mary Marvel, a female superhero, whereas uh, Billy Batson was the one who would change into Captain Marvel, who's become known as Shazam. There also on the show was um, Freddie Freeman, who would change into um, Captain Marvel Jr. So three superheroes and some other supporting characters on this animated series in 1981-82. And Mary Marvel was voiced by Dawn Jeffrey on that series. And this was produced by Filmation Studios. I'm going to show the markings on the edge. This is a production cell, as I said, with a background on it. So she is drawn on the cell, and then it's got a background with it. And I looked through all the episodes. There's only 12 episodes of this series, and I kind of fast-forwarded through them to see if I could find this image. I really was looking for this, because that would give it away. Um, and I couldn't find it. So if you know what episode of this 12-episode series this production cell was used in what scene, um, comment below. But just a little bit of the markings, S-H-S-T-K, it says there in marker, and then it's got it written in pen there, 410 there in marker, and here in pen, B-15. Again, a marker over pen writings. And then at the top, You've got like a 20502, I think that says. Um, something 24, sequence 24, perhaps, SEQ. And then BG, maybe background 38, because those items, those markings, I don't want to take off the tape here, but those markings are on the background image. I don't know what that means. I'm not an expert in production cells. This is one of three original production animation cells that I have. Maybe you'll see the other two in upcoming episodes of Terrific TV Toys because they are from TV shows. But I just wanted to show this lovely lady. I bought this on eBay back in May 2003. And I got a good deal for it, I think, because production cells generally go for a little bit more than this. But I paid $24.99 for the cell and $9 shipping to make it $33.99 for this. And um, came out of Beverly Hills, California. And the seller included this certificate. It says Shazam at the top. And I'll read through real quick, just because it's a nice little snapshot of this um, half-hour Saturday morning cartoon. I'm pretty sure it was a half-hour. I actually didn't watch it, although I would have loved it normally. I had watched sh the live-action Shazam that Filmation made back in the 1970s, so I'm not sure why I didn't watch this one. I don't remember watching it anyways, but it says, In 1981, Filmation produced an animated version of Shazam, reuniting them with the Captain Marvel character they had produced in live-action back in the 1970s, marking one of the few times the same studio produced both animated and live-action versions of the same character. This version, like the first planned animated version, hewed closely to the established comic book characters. These featured heroes, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel Jr., Mary Marvel, Uncle Marvel, and Talky Tawny was featured on this series too, and villains, Dr. Savano, Black Adam, I back, Mr. Mind, Mr. Adam, plucked straight from the comics pages. This show fit Filmation's established pattern of showing minority characters as leads when one of the Marvels, Captain Marvel Jr.'s secret identity, was handicapped, walking with a crutch, a newsboy, Freddie Freeman. 
It also followed the comics and made it a little more tricky for script writers in that Billy and Mary Batson said the word Shazam, the name of the wizard who gave them their powers, to become Captain Marvel and Mary Marvel. Freddy transformed by saying the name of the man who saved his life, Captain Marvel, to become Captain Marvel Jr., meaning that he couldn't even say his own name when he was hawking newspapers that featured Captain Marvel in action. <laughs> An animated film is comprised of thousands of individual hand-painted cells. When these cells are photographed one after the other, they create the illusion of movement. Each piece of original art from the film is one of a kind. There are no two exactly alike, thus making each piece unique and collectible. Enjoy! So thank you for that nice little synopsis that gives us more information. So she is neat, huh? I always loved her outfit. In fact, that's something I want to cosplay. I've cosplayed a couple different outfits, and I would love to cosplay that outfit as well. And I do see that outfit of Mary Marvel a lot at Comic Con. Sometimes it's the traditional red dress, and sometimes it's the white dress with the lightning bolt. Can't believe the amount of work that goes into this. All this hand painting. So... All right, so cool. Well, thanks for watching once again, and stay tuned to BRB TV for more terrific TV toys.